Good evening and thanks for joining us. The Vigo County School Corporation is working to help students overcome pandemic learning loss. After success last year, the district has brought back after school tutoring. School officials say there's still a need. News 10's Madison Zaleski visited one of the schools participating in the program. Benjamin Franklin Elementary School is one of many schools that is offering after school tutoring. I spoke with one of the teachers here to see how she's getting her students back on track. Serena Tackett is a first grade teacher at Benjamin Franklin Elementary School who is participating in the after school tutoring program. Tackett is not the only teacher who has seen kids struggling with learning after the pandemic. Not even just our community, but I feel like as a whole, the, uni the United States back in education a little bit. And so we're really just trying to pick up the ball and get back to where we need to be. The tutoring is three days a week for an hour and a half each day. Federal money helps cover the costs. In order to focus on each student's struggles and needs, Tackett splits the students into smaller groups. You have a whole group in the classroom. Sometimes it's really hard to make sure that each kid is getting those skill sets that they need. To make learning more fun and engaging, teachers let students use booklets and play games for certain subjects. The school has seen a huge toll on literacy skills. Tackett wants to focus on this during her tutoring sessions. Sometimes I'll read a book as a read aloud in class just to get them more engaged. Or we also like to do a lot of reading counts um, so they earn points for the books that they read. Tackett says she has already seen progress in her students in the classroom. She hopes this program is long term and will continue in the future. They're starting to pick up on it. So it makes me really excited because I'm like, OK, something's working. Um, and I definitely think that this is something that we should continue into the future. I mean, even if we were to get the kids caught back up, it never hurts to give them a little bit more extra help. The program will end this year on April 13th. Reporting in Vigo County, Madison Zaleski, News 10.